we've got another build that was just introduced regarding crypto regulations. XLM and XRP price talk, we gotta talk about it because there's some big moves happening. And FTT, FTX, whoa, what the hell is going on? Happy Tuesday, August 1st, everyone. You made it through July. Beast Mode 6049 says, Dex Pull Exchange got rug pulled as well. Thank you for the share. Yeah, please do that in the comments. You see any rugs that I'm not covering and catching because there's so freaking many. Let us all know down below. Freedom says Spartan Man. He sees the action behind me. I've done Deca Fit, Deca Strong, and I will be doing Deca Mile here in a couple of weeks. What else do we got for you? Toothpick Tony says best YouTube channel. No Hopium and tells it as is. Much respect, man. Thank you, kind sir. Final Omega says cool workout at the end. Then an ad with Ryan Reynolds. Lol, you look like cousins. Whoa. I will let you know that women get quite sodden down there thinking about Ryan Reynolds. And the fact that you think that we're at least cousins, whoo. You just inflated my attitude today. Well, my ego, that's a better way to put it. Patrick Agnion, 9662 says, Ripple does this every month and most gets returned. This is part of the ongoing ODL plan. Your thumbnail is pure clickbait. Sad to see Klaus. Really did, is this clickbait? Ripple really did dump a billion, we know about it. I didn't even highlight it much in the video. If you notice, I just kind of went right over it. And there was a rug pull. You assume too much and take too many leaps. The picture in question is this, another rug. Yes, we've got the yellow arrow right here pointing to the scam. The one billion dumb just pointed next to me. Pretty obvious right there. So for you, Patrick, you get this. Thought you would like that. Bitcoin's in at 29,220 ETH, 1848. By the way, you noticed no love for Bitcoin or Ethereum lately, price action wise? Wow. It's all moved to the alts, hasn't it? XRP sitting at 69.9, getting so close to 70 cents. XLM above 15 cents. That's why it's important. That's why we're doing this video. And gonna talk about XP XLM price action at the end. Representative Tom Emmer proposes a bill to clear things up for the crypto sector and safeguard innovation. Now hold up, girlfriend, hold up. Cause your Hopium channels out there are gonna be like, yo, we got another bill. This is it, we're gonna hit a home run. Maybe they just didn't read because this is the fifth attempt. Yes, everyone, the fifth attempt. It has not made it fine. <laughs> Seriously, all right. First introduced in 2018 by Emmer, the BCRA has undergone successive reintroductions with Wednesday's presentation marking its fifth consecutive Emmer-led effort following a previous attempt of March of this year. Here's what Emmer said. The Blockchain Regulatory Certainty Act is going to be marked up in the final... Blah, 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 blah. Come on, man. Five times? Like, seriously. If she keeps saying no, and she ain't messaging you back text message-wise, she ain't calling you, she ain't answering, she ain't interested. Emmer, get the hint. She's going with someone else. You, sir, are not too Boku, apparently. FTT price fails to sustain a 25% gain despite FTX confirming plans to relaunch the crypto exchange. Who in their right minds is still playing with this bankrupt piece of crap? Seriously. Okay, okay, okay. Pumps and dumps, right? Talk about it all the time. Let's go to the FTT chart. Pumps and dumps, man. Like, this is just a joke. This is just a freaking joke. And what bothers me about this is this was an intrinsic token backed by nothing by a now defunct company. The, 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 the irony is, the reason why there was an FTX punk because there was news about a payment plan. You know what the payment plan was? They're gonna get rid of all the FTT tokens and pay people in cash. Is that news pump worthy? No, but people out there just love the opium. Oh my God, we got FTT news, we're gonna rally. Pumps and dumps, this is a joke. GameStop halts crypto wallet service citing regulatory uncertainty. Okay, okay, this one kind of catches my attention, probably catches yours. We'll take a little bit more serious tone. I'll, I'll pump the brakes a little for you, safe word. And what could be a major setback for driving the mainstream adoption of blockchain powered video games, GameStop has stopped service for cryptocurrency wallets. The company posted information on its website, due to the regulatory uncertainty of the crypto space, GameStop has decided to remove its iOS and Chrome extension wallets for the market, said GameStop. Service will end as of November 1st. I don't think anyone really cares. Seriously, I, is this really going to affect gaming? You know what the biggest problem with gaming is now? 
None of these games are keeping your attention for more than, what, a month, two months? You ever watch the games on Steam for popularity and watch how fast they decline? Blockchain, Web3, gaming, that's going to be tough. You, here's the problem. A lot of stories people don't care about. A lot of games are rehash bullshit. Call of Duty. How many more times am I going to run up on ceilings, jump on walls, and shoot backwards and sideways? Come on. Come on now. None of these things are lasting. Every once in a blue moon, you get a Minecraft. Seven days to die. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. XPX on price action. Here's the deal. Today, we did bounce above the 70 cent mark. Now, we haven't held it yet, but the day is still early. So don't shoot the messenger if after like an hour I post this, all of a sudden it's above 70, okay? Come on now, help me out. The reason I brought this up though is because we did have quite a few days here of down pressure, okay? From this move here on the 23rd. Now, once we hit that 70, look what happened. We did try to make the move up today. It didn't hold. And if we zoom in a little bit more and switch this up to the time frame of 15 minutes, you could see that, yes, we tried right here. These two little candlesticks right here. This is what caught my attention. Breaching 70 again from being below. Good to see. That's what we've talked about. We've talked about XRP popping off of its bottoms. And you see it right here. That's 70 cent mark key. That's the trench. That's the trench. That's where you're fighting right now. Really good, super juicy news. Yeah, get us up higher on that. We keep getting negative action. Got to worry about going below. But think about this. Negative action has been just nonstop here recently with crypto. Very, very little good news. And yet XRP is still maintaining 70 cents. That's good. That is good. XLM, proportionately a much better story. XLM, now look at this, right? You saw some movement coming down. People freaking out going, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're gonna, we might be breaching 15 and going low. And yes, we did. We got to 14.6. But now look at the price, 15.1, right? It caught a quick move back on up. This is more life and XLM than we have seen in a long, long time. The difference between the moves though of XRP and XLM is what's happened on the secondary and tertiary moves, all right? XLM, you could see, definitely got some action. Now, the tops are kind of coming down, the peaks are coming down, the bottoms are moving up, right? You kind of see the wedge we're working into. XRP is, 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 I don't know. I don't know. A little different story. Kind of the wedge action, but the reality is we never got that tertiary move like you saw with XLM. You only got the secondary move and sideways action since. It's because a lot of people really started to digest what the court case ruling is. In fact, there's now a federal judge that doesn't agree with Torres, which that now throws another wrench into things. People were not done yet. So that's why the market right now is trading sideways for XRP. They're like, ah, oh, this wasn't really the best of news. Primary sales are still effed up. Torres is now being questioned by people. Gary calls it an opinion. He's like, I'm, I don't really give a shit what she says. Excellent, though. More of a beneficiary of the XRP ruling news. So pumps and dumps, pumps and dumps. And if you didn't see it in the first segment, the whiteboard behind me says, weak sauce. It's for you, Patrick, because your comments are weak sauce. We used to say that like 20 plus years ago. I'm just, I'm kind of dating myself age-wise. I already biked today. I already ran today. I might do another trainer session. We'll see. You cool cats, though, have a great rest of your day. And hydrate because it is hot as hell out.